Hello everyone, I am Defudge3004. Welcome back to 7 Days to Die. The last time that we were here, we just found this bunker. We got kind of moved in. We got all of our stuff from that water tower that we were at. And we went up on the cell tower and took a look at the world around us. We were up really high. That was kind of exciting and exhilarating for me, I guess, a little bit. Uh, since I don't really like heights all that much. The last time that we were here also, we were talking about possibly trying to set up the forge or something. But first, we have to figure out a place to where we are going to put it. I don't know exactly where we're going to put it, but we're probably going to put it maybe there in that corner. I doubt we're going to put it there because the bookcase is just right there. So we have a chest there, and then there it has a lot of forging stuff in there. And maybe we can set it up like right here or even right there. That would be good too. So we're going to be looking at that. But first we have to get into the morning. Excuse me. And see if we can get the stuff going on. Uh, one thing to do is pretty much not leave your torch out. It makes it easier for you to be seen. So we are crouching. It is morning. It's 4. It's uh, 1, uh, 12.45. It's almost 1 o'clock. Let's go over some of our... Um, perks and see what we can do we have the lucky looter perk we have the animal tracker so there's only three of those and a lot of times there were like five and six of these that we could get or up to ten depending on which ones we do not have the good thing for the spears that's something we can look at and this is good stuff for using clubs and stuff if we got this one to make level two clubs we do have a level three club and that's really good so, um, heavy armor, we can do that. Pack meal, we have one. Master Chef, bacon and eggs under here. These are good ones, but mainly the one I'm looking at we is advanced engineering. So this one will open up the forge and craft items 20% faster and craft glue cheaper. This is going to get the forge open, and I think that's going to be very important for us. All right, as of right now, we are level five. So we'll be level six soon. We just barely got over level five. Let me get some of this stuff repaired here. So that we can keep that stuff repaired. And then we have that to go. Now, let's see what we need for the forge. We need short iron pipes, some duct tape, leather clay soil we have we should have clay i believe yes we do and small stone so we need short iron pipes we need okay we have enough duct tape we have leather i know we have some of that i think oops in here uh we don't have any leather in here where do we put the leather i bet you it's back over here there is the leather now is all we need is short iron pipes if we can loot some more houses, maybe we'll find some wrenches or something that we can use. That would be good. We have stuff in these chests. I did get some food made up, or at least got the campfire put down. I don't know if we have any food in here. We do. We have quite a bit of food. Um, what kind of food do we have on us? Not a lot. We don't have anything in here to cook up anything. We have, we do have the grill. Good, good, good. Maybe we can make some grilled meat. Let's do that real quick. Let's pull out half that stuff. Stuff. Right click on it and pull it out, pull out half of the stack. And let's go see charred meat. Oh, we don't have the grill. Never mind. So. So, I don't think we can make boiled meat yet either, uh, because we don't have any water on us, that's why. Do we have any water at all? We have four water with six that more if it can be made. And, oh, pipes, 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 yes. Ooh, hey, we also need those, sweet. All right, we do have the pipes. So, let's make uh, soil clay first we can make boiled meat that's going to be probably one of the best things for us we're going to use all four of those unless first we do the boiled water we'll do that and once that gets done then we will be able to make 
a lot more meat. So let's go back here. Let's go ahead and get out half of this. Probably should take the whole thing, but I'm not going to right this second. Let's put a torch up right there. And again, just right click on the wall and it'll go up there. Now, let's make the forge. This is going to take about a minute and a half approximately, and then we'll have this ready to go. We have not a lot of stuff on us, a lot of good stuff. That's going to help us out a lot. Just going to put that in there, and we will get ready to fill up these jars again, which is going to help us out so much. We can go back probably to that water tower and get that. I don't know if there's water nearby. There is over by a campfire. I forgot all about that. Yes, there is. And when I died with that wolf, I started way up here and had to make, make my way all the way down there. That was like on the second day. And since we're like pretty much on the third day of this, you know, we're, we're making headway. It's just a little slow for right now. And also one important note, they did come out with an update like a day or two after I got done recording the last episode when we came down to this base, they came out with Alpha 19.1. And there are some changes with it, just so you know. We'll go over those changes in a little bit. Okay, we have that. Let's go ahead and make some more boiled meat as much as we can. Sweet. Now we're going to have a lot of boiled meat. That boiled meat will also give you water. And try to keep that in mind if ever you're doing this. If you have enough water to do things. There's the forge. Let's go ahead and put the forge in there. That would be the best thing. I thought about putting it like back over here. We could even put it over here on this side. But we have the chest for all of that right here. So... Either there or there and I don't really believe it matters which way it goes in maybe we'll put it there and put another chest over there if we need to all right got that nice now it's gonna put that in there and let's get out probably the iron I hear a dog outside probably the iron the iron is gonna be good it's barely heard a wolf you probably couldn't hear that but there was something out there and let's go and put some wood in there now we need an anvil and i think we f did we find an anvil or not i don't remember i don't think we did apparently we have not found an anvil there's some forged steel i forgot about that we do have that sweet and we got some pretty good stuff the last time too these um level three items that's always good let's okay it's gonna be daytime here real shortly and then we can go out there excuse me and just go ahead and see about doing things at least we'll have plenty of food for a while we'll get this done get these filled up and then we will be able to have some more water i'm gonna go see if i can find that wolf if maybe we can take him out that would be good I don't have any mods for this yet. We have not picked up any, and I can show you how to do the mods. They're super easy. Let's, in the morning, we will bust out these two. I was going to do that now, but that might just kind of defeat the purpose. Somebody's right out here. I can hear it. Oh, you probably hear that dog right now. There it is, right there, right in front of me. How do you like that, man? Okay, we got his attention.
Boy, that sure did glitch for a long second, didn't it? He'll be coming back. Well, it's almost morning. We can run over there. There's another dog, a bad, bad, bad dog. We don't want that dog right now, that's for sure. We will get that dog, just not right this minute. Where'd that other dog go? That's not good. That's not good. Those Doberman dogs are n never, never good. I'm sure it's inside. Nope, there it is. Got that dog. Just need to wait for that one over there. Oh, there he is. Come here, boy yo. Come here. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get some more hides. Oh boy, already starting off with the challenge. How do you like that? Let me know if the sound is too loud so I can turn it down for the next time. Got him! Yes! Good. Now we're going to have, have a lot more meat. That's awesome. So once again, we're starting off with some good ideas, some good meat and stuff. Some good experience. I don't know if we were in this house. I don't think so looking at it. No, I do not believe that we were. Oh shoot, that scared me. Oh yay, we got a downstairs, lovely. Yay, that's nasty. Man, this place is dangerous. Well. Um, it's not going to let us. put that where I want it to be so we may not be able to get across there as well as I was hoping but that doesn't mean that we can't it'll just take a little more effort Come here, Mama. Come here. Boy, 
howdy. We're going to get hurt if we're not careful. I think we already did. Let's do that. We don't have any water to drink, so we're going to have to be definitely careful. It's a TV. Water. Okay, I did turn the sound down just a little bit because it seemed awfully loud in my ears listening to it. Good, lots of iron, that's awesome. I'm not going to worry about busting out these cabinets because that's really unnecessary because there is no reason to. Because we're not going to be living here. Okay, that goes downstairs. Let's finish this off up here. They used to put guns in the toilets, but it appears that they don't so much anymore. And you used to be able to get water from the toilets, and you can't do that anymore. So, you know, I understand. That's cool. some loot Ooh, hey a level three club awesome so now we'll have a backup level three club and we will just go and put that in our chest down there and get rid of the level two one wait no extra stuff down here that happens good a backpack let's go see what's in here more food I don't know what's out there. Let's go see if we can find a way to out there, which is going to be right here. So that was just down there. That's awesome. Okay, so that's the way to get to that. That, the, that luggage is opened, so we can't do anything there. Let's come up here and search this. Uh -oh. Didn't see you down there, buddy. I heard you. You scared the snotty wobbers out of me. Nice. More loot. Gave me the freaking chills knowing he was there somewhere. My legs are all just goosebumped. Oh, that scared me. I knew she was going to probably, or somebody was going to be in here because of the door. Nice. Now we have a flashlight. All right. So we did that good. All right. Let me know what you think about this update. I think it's good so far. You, ooh, hey, bicycle handles and hunting rifle schematic. We can sell the bicycle handle schematic. Let's wear this, maybe. Um, yeah, we'll wear that. Keep ourselves a little bit warmer. The tank top isn't as necessary. It's good. Don't get me wrong. It's great. Just something a little warmer would be nice. Okay, water. Nothing. All right. A little bit more junk, basically. We can scrap that to put that in with the brass. So we got already a wolf. That's good. Got some meat. Let's go get this ammo pile. Nice. 
All right, good. And I'm not going to scrap the cans if I can help it. I may have to, but if I can help it, I'll try not to because you lose 25% of the resources. Well, their noggins both popped off. How do you like that? Man. Evil. Those will scare me a lot. Okay, nothing there. Well, that's a vitamin. That's all right. We'll take that. Safe. These safes are generally very, very hard to unlock. How many do block picks do we have? We only have eight. I am not going to worry about it because they are generally more of a pain than they're worth. Especially early in the game until you can get your lock picking skill up. And remember with places like this, try to bust them open. It's easier than trying to fight with everything. Okay, jars are all right. I don't mind jars. Have more water that way. All right. We don't have a lot of room to run and hide here, so we definitely have to be careful up here. There's some more lock picks. All this luggage needs to be searched. Take all that. Hey, nursey. Man, how can you miss? Cool, got her. Wood and a can. Locked up on me, man. I could have moved. Don't know quite what happened. That was bad. It just my mouse would not cooperate. That was horrible. That kind of stuff is kind of scary when it happens and you're trying to fight in the middle of a game, you know. Oh, okay. Saw something pink over there. Didn't know what it was. Sweet. Look at that. There's a bench over there. Okay, that's the loot pile. <laughs> Darn you! Boy, howdy, he was gonna wail on us. Okay, nothing in there because we really didn't have time to really search it well. Uh, and big hits knock knock the ball out of the park with this technique. Do ten percent more damage with clubs. Ooh, what's that? Crazy Noah found wild loonies from the crazy Jake clan. We'll just read that later. Let's see what's in this desk. Eh, I'm not going to worry about that. Well, let me see. Uh, cold resist, heat resist. Okay, maybe we will just go and take that. Let's scrap this though because we don't need to be carrying that with us. We have some food. We might as well just go ahead and eat one. We have the book here. We have a water. Don't go drinking it. Um, we don't exactly have a lot of stuff that we can do. Let's just get rid of that. That's not necessary right now. Not until we start doing farming. I am thinking about going back home, dropping stuff off, and then I will come back here. And we will loot that and see what all else we may have in there. Where are we? Well, we're a long ways up is where we are. Yes. Okay, there's a little corn patch down there. All right. That's cool. 
So I'm gonna go back down, drop stuff off, and I'll come back and we will loot that area. Alright, I'm back up here now. I got attacked by a spider zombie just as I was getting water cooked up from the water tower by where we were. I have a deep laceration. I don't think we have anything that's going to heal me, so I'm just going to have to kind of uh, let that heal on its own. Let's go check out all of this stuff, and I forgot we also have a basement to do here. Well, we can't do anything here, but, ooh, hey, tin landmine and hubcap landmine. Three of each. Awesome. Man, I don't see those very much at all. They did update a couple of the zombies, and when I find them, I will show you what they are. Good, a wrench. Awesome. Now we have a level three shovel as well. So, we can go ahead and put that on our level 2 shovel slot. That's the good thing about the looting thing. Oh, and speaking of looting things underneath B, I picked up these goggles, you know. And lucky goggles, loot bonus, plus 3, and dig, dig radius reduction for when you have, like, treasure and stuff like that. That's a good thing to know. Alright, let's go see. Ooh, hey, look at all kinds of stuff. Let's go ahead and get out this ammo pile. Okay, got some 9 millimeters and some more for the blunderbuss. And, ooh, hey, look at that. Level 3 blunderbuss. Awesome. Let's go and put that on our bar. Let's put that right there. And let's just kind of shift stuff over one. Maybe we will just put the um, torches up there. Arrows. We have another one of these. Wait, did we just put that up there? Maybe we did. No, there, there's ours. Okay, good. Then let's just scrap this one after a while. Apparently I picked it up. Not meaning to. That's all right. We have good stuff now. Okay, let's see what's in here. Um, Look at that, an engine. That's awesome. So now we have an engine to make a mini bike or something with. Motor tool parts, even an auger. Okay, level 2 shovel. We're just going to scrap that one. Let's take that and let's look in this big one. Holy moly, look at that. Ooh, level 3, level 3, level 3. Yes, that's the good thing about making sure that you get the loot bonus is it will help you out a lot. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that level 4 um, leg armor. That's awesome. We are going to wear that. D. Sweet. Now we have on some leg armor. Some more blunderbuss ammo. Scrap boots. Let's go ahead and wear these. That'll be D. Let me see. These ones are slightly better. So we'll wear those. We'll just take these. And a sledgehammer. Now these things do not get loot very well. They don't pick up stuff good. But ooh, I'm going to switch that too. But they do a good job of breaking things. You just won't get many resources. And that's something to know. Well, look at that. We almost have a full load again. That's awesome. All right. Let's go down. Let's go see about that basement. And just see what might all be in there. We looted this out really good. Got all that we can from here. And let's try to find our way back down. And... Go down to that, them, there are basements. Okay, we go through this way and go through this way, and it was down over here. Didn't mean to do that, I meant to crouch. Okay, good. Now everything should be as repaired except for the bow and arrow, and that's really not bad. Let's go see what is down here. Hopefully some decent stuff. The stairs are different. Look at that. That one is going that way with the lines, and this one is not. Oh, hello there, Mr. Sir. Hey, Stompy. Sneak, 
neither of you guys are going to be getting back up anytime soon. You're going to have a splitting headache. <laughs> ha ha. Fridge is open. Can't get anything out of there. What the? Hey! No sneaking up on us. Thought I heard something, but I wasn't 100% certain. Jerk. Okay, looks like we have a little bit more loot out here. We'll get in there in a minute. Let's go get this guy opened. Holy moly, it's been an experience. Getting close to another level. Wait, what was that? Apparently I busted something and I don't know what it was. Two sandwiches. Mm, was it worth it? It depends on what you call worth it. There's more water. One. One whole water. That's okay. We need to get back and shut off our campfire. I'm sure most of that's done by now. Holy moly. Hey, look, another level three blender bus. All right. Ooh, repair kits, repair kits, repair kits, repair kits. That's good for repairing stuff like this or whatever. Man, look at this stuff. Ooh, steel club parts. Um, scrap advanced armor. Okay, we can put make a steel club out of that. So no mods. But we are very, very full again. There's another toilet. How do you like that? Well, that three water was, I guess, a little bit better. Thought I saw something right there. No, oh, it's a handle. Okay, I see. So it doesn't look like there's anything else much up there. All right, let's go bust this open, maybe. Um. Uh, yep, looks like there's a bag right there. Okay, so we have one piece of metal. Let's. I am going to go ahead and eat that, and then we'll scrap this, and we'll take that money. Okay, there we go. Basement. Ooh, hey, what's that? Okay, the shadow. Basement isn't quite done, but it's very close to being done. What's over here? Probably something down here. No? Okay. We are super, super, super full. Another destroyed workbench. Let's go see what we can do if we can drop anything. We'll just get rid of those. We don't need those. We can scrap that because we really don't need that. Um, let's scrap that. We can always make another one of those. No big deal. I like to always keep an extra spear in hand in case we die or something. That way we can repair ourselves good. We need the water anyway. Let's go and drink that. Okay, that's going to help out a little bit. And I think that's all I'm going to do for right now with that. More of those. Good. More repair kits. We'll take that electrical part. Okay, let's go back here. Thought I saw something. And back here. Looks like there's a cave there or something. Make sure the floor isn't going to come down on us. You never know. Oh, boy. Let's go see what's over here after it unglitches on us. Okay, doesn't look like there's gonna ah that's down where we almost fell into I got it I'm pretty sure we cannot get through there no we cannot all right so if we would have fallen down there we just could have got out here I got it well that is always good to know all right let's go back I am gonna dump off this stuff Get the campfire shut off, and then we will maybe look at doing a couple of more things if we can. So let me find my way out of here. 
We're right next to our place, so this won't take too terribly long, and I will be right back. Before we go out doing a lot more stuff, let's go see what is in these crates here. Sorry about the jerkiness. My hand hit the mouse. Let's see if we can get... Okay, cupboard with a can, and let's see what's in this one. Hopefully something good, huh? Washing machine. Well, if we need to do our clothes, let's do one more thing real quick that I think is very important. Let's come down to here. We'll grab a short iron pipe. And we are going to repair this with the short iron pipe. Because repair, we'll take the iron pipe. So we now have a good blender bus. And we have all kinds of good stuff on us. That is awesome. That's amazing. That's what we need. And we have 72 of the blunderbuss ammo now. And let's uh, go and put the plastic in there too. That was in that crate up there. There's a box up there. Trash, I mean. Had whatever it was up there that had a bunch of stuff in it. Okay, we're getting very close to going up to the next level. Let's go see if we can do some more stuff. There is that house that's under construction. I'm going to go see if I can find it again wherever it was. I don't remember where it was. I'm going to go see if I can find it. And we're going to go and see what is in the bottom of there that I was telling you about. And I'm sure you're going to find it pretty exciting. At least some of you will. Others of you may not find it so exciting, but it's going to be good. We're going to get some good stuff out of it. It's just going to take a little bit to probably get through it. And as soon as I find it, I will come back. And hopefully, unless it gets to be nighttime first, we will do that. And then I'll come back and we will see if we can... Um, finish that off. Darn buzzards. I did find a pretty cool place here. I've been fighting some zombies here, and I got in this coffin. It's empty now. But I did get this book here, Self-Defense. Don't become the prey by using these tips. Don't become the prey by using these tips to stop would-be attackers. Do 10% more damage to humans. Okay, we'll need that. And an AK-47 book. Sweet. So now we have that. And if you have a shovel, you can get into... Well, you can dig these out. And you can get a whole bunch of stuff at each and every one of these headstones. I can dig down here, get that out, and you can find all kinds of good stuff in here. It's just... See, like these guys are doing, they're just coming back to life. Go back to where you came from, girlfriend. Okay, so, don't know quite what that was. Okay, a couple of brass things. I'm kind of, you know, not wanting to be attacked again. And any of these that are open, you can get into right away. So, yeah, we're at a mortuary or a morgue. Big place here. Holy moly. Man, look at all this stuff. And there's lots of places to be dug up. That's good find all kinds of loot in here most times but we are finding a lot of good stuff in these so how'd you like to be buried with your shotgun shells huh wouldn't that make you feel kind of semi-important in the afterlife all right i think i found one of the new zombies well remade zombies you might say remember i said they didn't upgrade the businessman this is the new businessman He looks quite a bit different. He has some good look about him. I do like him. 
So yes, they did upgrade him now, and I think that's pretty amazing. I was playing uh, my other game just after um, the end of the last recording. Of course, I had up updated, you know, the computer or the or the game, and I saw him, and I'm like, wait, he looks different. It was at night, so it was kind of hard to tell. And so I, was, I wasn't too sure if I did, but sure enough, I knew they had updated another zombie. Sweet, level six, all right. I knew they had updated another zombie. I just didn't know if I was going to meet that one or not. And I did after that, too. So when we meet them, and again, I will show you once we meet the other one. Headlight, good. Let's be for the mini bike. And or the vehicle, but that's a long ways down the road. Let's just scrap him. Well, it is going to be daytime, or night daytime. Nighttime here real shortly, and I don't think I'm going to find what I was looking for. I'm going to have to do some looking around in the day. And until then, I am just going to head back, and I will see if I can find what I was looking for. Once the new day comes. And since I don't have horde knife, we don't have to worry about being attacked by hordes of zombies, you know, or ooh, Shamway Foods. Or anything else like that until, you know, the time comes. We will, as we progress, and if we don't die a lot, then we will be meeting harder zombies. But if we do die, then they won't be as hard for a little while. So, I'm going to wait out the night. I'll come back in the morning and we will see if we can find the place that I was looking for. Right in front of me here, right there in that tree, is a pretty nasty enemy. That's all I gotta say. He, uh... Oh boy, he's pretty devastating and... For those of you who don't know, it is, it is a bear, yes, but it's not just any bear. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but I'm going to try. For one thing, get up on a safe place, make as many arrows as I can. Okay. And let's see. Yeah, if I might be able to take out this bad boy. Not being very cooperating with the arrows right now. So, just so you know, and I will show you what I mean. Hopefully this is going to be the right one. It looks like it is. These guys won't run away like the dogs do. So I'm going to work on him. And as soon as I get this done, I will come back here in just a quick minute. You can see how many arrows this thing has in it. I probably shot 50 so far and it ain't down yet. Oh great, I don't have any wood. 
So I'm gonna have to use this till it breaks. Or, uh, shoot, I just don't have any wood. I have plenty of arrows, just no wood to be able to repair this, and uh, I wasn't thinking about that when I uh, went in doing this. So, let me see if I can knock this bad boy out. Got him. All right. If I am thinking correctly. Okay, that's 25 arrows just from this guy only. Let's go see. Oh, this is a regular bear. Holy moly. This was just a regular bear. And you can tell because we're just getting regular meat. I thought this might have been the other kind of bear. You can just see how big they are compared to how we are. But we're looking... In not even over its back, really. That's the whole thing. These bears are so big and so hard to defeat. But we did it, and we got 50 meat for it. Now, let's... Uh, let's get back home. Let's get some wood. Let's get back home. He was attacking this tree right here, the way he was doing. And I know I heard so. You can see how it's partially down. But I didn't know what he was doing. I thought he was attacking our base. He did kind of attack our base, but... Man, he kind of hurt this tree a little bit. Poor tree. And then here we go, destroying it, right? But that was a bear. You can see just how tough they really are. Like I said, probably 50 arrows. All right, well, it is one o'clock in the morning here. It took a while to defeat him, finally did. What a royal pain, huh? But we got some good meat from it and that's really all that matters. Every time you kill one, you will get some of this, this testosterone extract. This is something that you go get from any bear that you kill. And when you do, you can just, you know, put it wherever you want to. But I don't know. I don't think, didn't think we had any up here. I don't know exactly to create steroids. Okay, good. So that means that that right there is made from the bear extract. That's good to know. It will soon be morning, and we're probably going to have to wait to go to that place, but we did get some pretty good stuff, I gotta say. We made out pretty darn good, if I was going to be honest with you, and of course I'm going to be honest with you, so we did good for ourselves. We got some good stuff. We made out good. We got some things going on, but I still want to see if we can find that place, and then the next time we can definitely go and see... Uh, about going in there and doing whatever it is that we got to do there. So once again, when morning comes, I'll try to find it and I will talk to you at that point. I think I finally found the place. It took quite a while of looking. I went all around the town, but I think I finally found it. This is the place. Yes, it is. So, the next time we will be looking at this place. We'll gather up all of this stuff. See what all is in here. Let's go and uh, let's take on Pewdie. Let's just go and get her out of the way. Think you're going to be able to miss with something like that, huh? All right. We're gonna try our level three spear, huh? Sweet, got her. 
Yeah, there's definitely something that around here isn't there. You can hear that little bit of sound. So this is the place and it it is quite a dangerous place, but we will explore this next time and I think you're going to like it. It's a pretty cool place. All right. I am the Fudge 3004. This is seven days to die. We got our fort built. We took on a bear at night even. And we live to tell about it. Oh, this is the new utility worker. This is one of the other zombies that they added. They've had the utility workers, but they updated them to look a lot more better, I think. Ooh, hey, look, you dropped loot. All right. Food. That's okay. We need it. And this is the place we're going to go to. So let me know what you think about this episode and everything in it. We took out a wolf. We took out a couple. Of, I think we took out two wolves. Maybe only one. And a bear and some other good stuff. And we did some looting. Got a house completely looted. That was awesome. We... Didn't die once this time. I guess we were lucky there. I thought we were going to, but we didn't. So that was good. And until next time, we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.